Hi, my name is Neil Newborn. I'm a performance capture actor, voiceover actor. I also direct and produce. I do stunts, combats, and a whole bunch of creature work. And I've been working in games for about 12 years. When I started in motion capture, I learned from the studio technicians, uh, from other actors that have been doing it before me. And I had a lot of support and a lot of help. And people took a lot of chances on me as well. About six years ago, I decided that I wanted to help other people have the same experience that I did. So we created a workshop. We call it an academy, but it's really a series of workshops. We have students from all over Europe who are coming here to the wonderful Quantic Dream stage and we're going to be putting them through the paces from beginner and taking them all the way through to advanced techniques so they experience everything that you can do in the volume. I have my own company in motion capture animation, but using the XN suit. I really came here to work with the top crew, the top technology, because they have optical lenses and just, you know, these fancy cool looking suits and I really wanted to get the experience. I wanted to learn about these techniques. I've been acting since I was nine and now I also want to be a filmmaker. So I thought it'd be for both of those things, it'd be really interesting to learn performance capture, motion capture. Well, I always wanted to work with an optical system. I've done a, a couple of courses and they're all in classrooms, which is fine, but never inside the actual workspace. And I think that's, that's the best you can get. And also big Quantic fan, so. Welcome to our first European workshop. And the very first time we worked with our, my friends, Quantic Dream. We start with very basic levels and then we start adding and adding and adding and adding and adding and adding and adding until the end of the second day we end up with a full scene. So today we're going to start off with a bit of fun. We're going to play some games. The games seem like a bit of fun, but all of them have a purpose. Karate! Karate! Work! Work. Work. Zap. Zap. Zap! Oh, they fall so quickly! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> You're not here to prove anything, you're just here to be a character and to have fun. Yeah, go with the flow, whatever's being thrown at you. And action! Even if something looks casual, there has to be a lot of activity, there has to be action behind it. Motion capture, I personally think, is a new methodology for acting. It takes the best from TV and film and theatre and smashes them together. Because everything can be a wide and a close-up simultaneously, and sometimes the director may not make their editorial points until after the shoot, the actor has to treat this space as a theatre space. But then you also have the intimacy of the camera. So I always tell students to move like theatre, but speak like film. To have the subtlety, to have the, the little moments that can be incredibly intimate with the camera and the actor, but also to move with intention. Cool, less finesse, because it's a big massive ogre thing. Just lift it up and send it crashing down. Cool, do this, because that's your character. Yeah. I want you to fucking go for it. You set aside your personality in a way, and you can be anything. You just act without a Care Bear <laughs> and a knight, and it's very different. As long as it's believable, it works. Ooh, 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 ooh. Come back to center. So yeah, <laughs> nice, okay, good. I would say that the qualities that make a good motion capture actor or a good performance capture actor, you need to be very aware and very in your body. You need to have a very useful body. It doesn't mean you have to be really buff and in shape. Uh, you can be any size, but you have to be able to be connected to your body. Likewise, I would say you need a good voice as well. You need a very prepared, trained, malleable voice as well, because then you can do a full range of characters, not just with motion, but also with the voice for a complete instrument experience. You let go of any sense of yourself, you become something else, and that's really releasing as a performer. Ready to work? Action. I want to stop. I really do. I am trying. From the performers, it's, it's really exciting to see them come out of their shells. From the first day when they were really nervous to, to now, when they're comfortable in the suits and they're comfortable with Neil, and they're enjoying themselves and, and they know what they've got to do. It's, it's really exciting, so. Good job. Wow. 
The last scene that we did, very little rehearsal for, was a really amazing experience to see everybody taking all the lessons from the two days, building up and working as an ensemble together with the timings, the dialogue, the action, all working in the environment with using the environments in the volume. It was really, really something special. <laughs> it's been a real trip. We've had some amazing challenges, but also had some amazing breakthroughs and results. And cut there. <laughs> okay, very good. On a abordé plein de choses en deux jours, plein de choses hier, plein de choses aujourd'hui. Et je pense qu'il faut que ça infuse. Il faut que ça infuse. C'était, c'était génial, c'était très enrichissant, mais. C'était bien complet. Enfin, on a pu toucher à tout. Un sourire accroché au visage, on n'arrive pas à décrocher. On va pas y partir. <laughs>